This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinylic Puma and today I want to talk to you guys about how Apple has unveiled this new technology called Metal. That is correct. Apple has gone back in time. They developed a time machine, went back before the Bronze Age and invented bronze and other metals for the different uh, eras of like the Bronze Age and the Iron Age and they visited each one now, I'm sorry, guys, this is just a stupid joke. According to VentureBeat, at its Worldwide Developer Conference, Apple announced a new platform technology for game developers, dubbed Metal, which it claims can improve rendering performance for 3D graphics by tenfold. According to Polygon, the technology will reduce OpenGL overhead, giving developers deeper access to a device's hardware. Designed for Apple's A7 system on a chip hardware, it will offer efficient multi-threading, shader technology, and more. Now I'm going to go ahead and link the VentureBeat as well as Polygon article in the description. Uh, basically, to make it simplified, this is going to improve um, the ability of the A7 chip in Apple smartphones and mobile devices. To emphasize the importance of this, Epic Games built a kind of a virtual world the tech demo called Zen Garden, and this particular tech demo was built in Unreal Engine 4. Now, this is really kind of a big deal, considering that Unreal Engine 4 um, is mainly kind of restricted right now to, like, PC or Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Now that it's possible that it's going to be on mobile devices, um... Well, I'm just going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this. Now, this is actually kind of a big deal for Apple because really it's looking like Apple's going to be the first um, smartphone mobile device um, hardware developer, software developer that um, is going to have games that are running on Unreal Engine 4 on their smartphones and mobile devices, which is sick. Now, are they going to be of the quality of, say... Um, I don't want to say Crisis because Crisis wasn't run, doesn't run on Unreal Engine 4, but say a game like maybe Daylight, um, Destiny that's supposed to come out on consoles. I think that's a couple years down the road, but right now, the fact that they're already starting out on Unreal Engine 4, this is really kind of a big deal. Um, if you also consider, if you also think about it a little bit more, um, smartphones upgrade every s s so many years. So one year, if you buy a relatively new smartphone, you're going to be running a really nice game at really high graphic fidelity. If you um, run a another game in another couple years, I mean, and you have a newer smartphone, I mean, the technology is going to be developing so quickly, um, I don't really see how consoles, traditional consoles at least, like particularly the Microsoft Xbox One and the Sony PlayStation 4, even Nintendo's Wii U, really, I don't see how they're going to compete with this level of technological development and how quickly it's going to be. If you ask me, and I don't want to kind of say that, like, this is just going to be the best thing ever or anything, but I mean, if you kind of think about it, um, this is going to give the console gamer that doesn't really want to build their own PC, that doesn't really want to um, get into, I guess, like, to the technical uh, aspect of um building a kind of a computer console for yourself i mean this is going to give you that upgrade ability that the consoles lack and in fact i mean if you're upgrading every like two to three years you're getting a new console and you're basically using this metal software to make it to where these big budget games can be developed on these devices i mean consoles are screwed like i don't see um, any future for consoles now. I mean, if this really takes on and really um, becomes a thing, I mean, it's going to be amazing to see what they're going to be able to do with it. 
Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on this. What are your thoughts? Do you guys think that this is going to be like the next big thing? This is going to be a huge deal? Or do you think that, you know, maybe this won't be that big of a deal? It'll just kind of blow over and it no one's going to really uh, pay any attention to it. I don't think that's the case, but I guess we'll see. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Take care, guys, and have a good one.